everybody! Welcome to Storytime. My name is Allison. I work at the Ann Arbor District Library. You guys ready for some fun stories? Well, let's start by showing me your hands. Let's say hello to each other and let's get our beat. Bread and butter, marmalade and jam. Let's say hello as high as we can. Hello! Good. Hands again. Bread and butter, marmalade and jam. Let's say hello as low as we can. Hello. Good. Hands again. Bread and butter, marmalade and jam. Let's say hello as fast as we can. Hello, 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 hello. Good. <laughs> Hands again. Bread and butter, marmalade and jam. Let's say hello as slow as we can. Hello. <laughs> Hands again. Bread and butter, marmalade and jam. Let's say hello as soft as we can. Hello. Very nice. Well, let's get out my magic hat so we can figure out what kind of stories we're doing today. You ready to be a magician? You want to help out? I'm the best magician. I can pull anything out of this hat. Abracadabra! Huh? A tiny hat? Do you guys think we're doing tiny hat stories today? No, that's weird. I wonder what that's doing in there. Hmm, let me try my trick again. You ready? I'm the best magician. I can pull anything out of this hat. Abracadabra! Huh? What is that? Fried chicken? Do you guys think we're doing fried chicken stories today? No, that can't be right. Hmm. Let me try my trick again. You ready? I'm the best magician. I can pull anything out of this hat. Abracadabra! <gasps> yes! Would you look at that? Huh. This is a tangerine. And this so one of the best instruments ever. It's called a slide whistle. That must mean that we are doing noisy stories today. So let's take a look at our alphabet. Hmm. Do you guys notice a letter missing today? I see one. I see one right here in the middle. The missing letter for today is N. N for noisy. Are you guys ready to sing our ABCs all together? Let's start on one, two, three. A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, K, L, M, N, O, P, Q, R, S, T U V W X Y and Z. Now I know my ABCs. Next time, won't you sing with me? Very nice. Great job, you guys. Thank you for singing with me. Let's get these letters off the board and then we can go to our first noisy story. All right, so for our first 
noisy story, we have The Book with No Pictures by B.J. Novak. This is a book with no pictures. It might seem like no fun to have someone read you a book with no pictures. It probably seems boring and serious. Except, here is how books work. Everything the words say, the person reading the book has to say no matter what. That's the deal. That's the rule. So that means even if the words say blork, wait, what? That doesn't even mean anything. Blork! Wait a second, what? This isn't the kind of book I wanted to read. And I have to say all the things the book says? Uh-oh. I am a monkey who taught myself to read. Uh, hey, I'm not a monkey. And now I am reading you this book with my monkey mouth in my monkey voice. Oh, 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 oh. Uh, what? That's not true. I am not a monkey. Yes, I am a monkey. Also, I am a robot monkey. Uh, what? Do you guys think I'm a robot monkey? And my head is made of blueberry pizza. Oh, wait a second. Is this whole book a trick? Can I stop reading, please? No? And now it's time for me to sing you my favorite song. A song? Do I really have to sing a song? Glug, 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 my face is a bug. I eat ants for breakfast right off the rug. Ew, what? This book is ridiculous. Can I stop reading yet? No? There are more pages and I have to read the rest? My only friend in the whole world is a hippo named Boo Boo Butt. Boo Boo Butt? And also, the kid I'm reading this book to is the best kid ever in the history of the entire world. Oh, really? And this kid is the smartest kid, too, because this book chose... This kid chose this book even though it had no pictures. Because kids know this is the book that makes grown-ups have to say silly things and make silly sounds like... Should I turn the page? Oh no. Here it comes. Blur guaco, my grumpha do. I eat it! Brook, grumpf, eeft, blackity, blackity, glibity, glubity, 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 beep, boop. But donkey face! What? Oh my goodness. Please don't ever make me read this book again. It is too silly. In fact, it's utterly and completely preposterous. Next time, please, 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 please choose a book with pictures. Please because this is just too ridiculous to read. The end. Bonk! I didn't want to say that. The end. Book with no pictures by BJ Novak. All right, that was really silly. Can I see your hands? Stretch them up, stretch them down. Stretch them up, down, up, down, up, down, up. <laughs> stretch them out. Stretch them in. Stretch him out, ooh. Stretch him in, ee. Stretch him out, ooh. Stretch to the side. Stretch to the other side. Bring him around town. Stretch him out. Wiggle, 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 wiggle. Stretch him down. Stretch him up, tall. Stretch him down, small. 
Stretch him up. Toe! Stretch him down. Small. Stretch him up. Band up. Band back in. Back. Whoa! Stretch him forward. Flip him over. Close your hands. And follow me. Open, shut them. Open, shut them. Give a little clap, clap, clap. Open, shut them. Open, shut them. Lay them in your lap, lap, lap. Creep them, crawl them, creep them, crawl them. Right up to your chin, chin, chin. Open up your little mouth. Blah! But do not let them in. Whoop! Open, shut them, open, shut them. To your shoulders, fly, fly, fly. Higher, 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 high like birds in the sky. Falling, falling, slowly fall like raindrops to the ground. Quickly pick them up again and turn them round and round. <gasps> Faster, 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 faster still. Faster, 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 faster still. Faster, 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 faster still. Faster, faster, faster. And slowly slow them down. Open, shut them. Open, shut them. Give a little clap, clap, clap. Open, shut them. Open. Open, shut them, lay them in your lap, lap, lap. Very nice. Good job, you guys. Well, I have something a little silly for us. Um, not too long ago, it snowed, and I saw someone in my neighborhood making a snowman, which gave me this idea. But I need your help for now. Will you help me count these snowmen? We have one two, three, four, and five. And the other thing I'll need your help with is keeping a beat. Five little snow people all in a row with big fuzzy hats and a big red bow. Out came the sun and it shined all day and one little snow person melted away you ready <coughs> whoops now they're a puddle how many do we have left let's count them one two three four Four little snow people all in a row, each with a hat and a big red bow. Out came the sun and it shined all day, and one little snow person melted away. Whoops. <coughs> Whoops. Now they're a puddle. How many do we have left? One two, three. Three little snow people all in a row, each with a hat and a big red bow. Out came the sun and it shined all day, and one little snow person melted away. <coughs> Whoops! Now they're a puddle! How many do we have left? One, two. Two little snow people all in a row, each with a hat and a big red bow. Out came the sun and it shined all day, and one little snow person melted away. <coughs> Whoops! 
Now they're a puddle. How many do we have left? Just one. One little snow person all in a row. He has a hat and a big red bow. Out came the sun and it shined all day. And one little snow person melted away. <coughs> Whoops! Now they're a puddle. And hopefully they'll stay that way. Good job! Hopefully this will bring us some nice spring weather soon. Well, let's see. Let's do a little silly song together. Um, do you guys have your nose? Does everybody have your nose today? Did anybody forget? Hmm. Does anybody have an extra nose they could give to the people they that forgot? <laughs> I dropped my nose. Whoops! Pick it up, pick it up. I dropped my nose. Whoops! Pick it up, pick it up. I dropped my nose, whoops, pick it up, pick it up, and put it back on my face. I dropped my ears, whoop, pick them up, pick them up. I dropped my ears, whoop, pick them up, pick them up. I dropped my ears, whoop, pick them up, pick them up, and put them back on my head. I dropped my eyes, blah, pick them up, pick them up. I dropped my eyes, blah, pick them up, pick them up. I dropped my eyes, blah, pick them up, pick them up, and put them back on my face. Good job. That was really silly. <laughs> well, let's see. I have one more story for us, another noisy story comes from this book here, Cockadoodle Quack Quack, by Ivor Badil and Sophie Judd. So, let's see. Here is little baby rooster. Now, it was baby rooster's job to wake up all the other farm animals in the morning, but baby rooster was so young, he didn't know what to say. So Baby Rooster decided to go to the other farm animals to see what sounds they made. So Baby Rooster went walking, 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 until Baby Rooster met, who's this? Pig. Baby Rooster said, Pig, Pig. I am supposed to wake up everyone in the morning, but I don't know what sound I make. What sound do you make? Oh, said Pig. The sound I make is... What sound does Pig make? Oink, oink, oink. Oh, said Baby Rooster. That's really good. I'll try that. So the next morning, just as the sun was rising, Baby Rooster went up to the fence got on top, took a deep breath, and said as loud as they could, Cock-a-doodle! Oink, oink, oink! But nothing happened. Nobody woke up. Hmm, said Baby Rooster. This must not be the right sound. I'll ask someone else. So Baby Rooster went, walking, 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 until Baby Rooster met, who's this? Cow. Baby Rooster said, cow, cow. I need to wake up everyone in the morning, but I don't know what sound I make. What sound do you make? Cow said, what does cow sound like? Moo, moo. Oh, said Baby Rooster. That's pretty good. I'll try that tomorrow. So, the next day, just as the sun was rising, Baby Rooster got on top of the fence, took a deep breath, and yelled, cock a doodle Moo! 
was that, right? Mm-mm. And nobody woke up. Hmm, said Baby Rooster. This is not right either. Hmm. I'll go ask someone else. So Baby Rooster went walking, 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 until Baby Rooster ran into Duck. Baby Rooster said, Duck! It is my job to wake up everyone in the morning, but I don't know what sound I make. What sound do you make? Duck said, what does Duck say? Quack, 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 quack. Oh, said Baby Rooster. That's pretty good too. I'll try that tomorrow. So the next morning, as the sun was rising, Baby Rooster got up on the fence took a deep breath and yelled, Cock-a-doodle! Quack, quack, quack! Is that right? Mm-mm. And nobody woke up. Oh, said Baby Rooster, I feel so sad. I can't find my sound. Just then, Cat walked by. Cat said, What is wrong, Baby Rooster? You seem so sad. Baby Rooster said, yes, I'm really sad. I am supposed to wake up everyone in the morning, and I don't know what sound to make. Hmm, said Cat. This sounds like a question for the wise old owl. If you visit the owl, I bet you'll find the answer you're looking for. Thanks, said Baby Rooster. And so Baby Rooster went to go find the great owl. You ready? Rooster went... Walking, 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 until Rooster came to the great wise owl. Owl! Owl! said Baby Rooster. Can you please help me? I need to wake everyone up in the morning, but I don't know what sound to make. What should I do? Hmm, said Owl. Tomorrow morning, when the sun is just rising, go up onto the fence. And instead of saying anything, listen, and I bet you will find out what sound you should make. Oh, said Baby Rooster. This was not the answer he was expecting. But Baby Rooster decided to trust the wise old owl. And so the next morning, Baby Rooster got up just as the sun was rising. Baby Rooster got on top of the fence and listened. Was really quiet at first, but then a small sound from the other nearby farms. Cock-a-doodle-doo! Cock-a-doodle-doo! Oh, said Baby Rooster, I guess this is the sound I make. So Baby Rooster took a deep breath and yelled, Cock-a-doodle-doo! And everyone woke up. The end. Very nice. Good listening, you guys. Well, we are at the end of story time today. So it is time for Knees Up Mother Brown. So let me get out my tiger friend. For those of you who don't know, when tiger's up in the air, you can just watch him. But when tiger starts to jump and dance on a board that you can't really see, but you'll be able to hear it, you can jump up and dance too. You ready? There was a girl from France who didn't know how to dance. The only thing that she could do was knees up, Mother Brown. Oh, knees up, Mother Brown. Knees up, Mother Brown. Knees up, knees up. Never let the breeze up. Knees up, Mother Brown. Sit down, sit down. There was a teeny tiger man. He loved to do handstands. You ready? Let's see. Can he do a handstand today? Oh, oh, he's sort of close. Oh, 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 not even close. Oh, no. The only other thing that he could do was knees up, Mother Brown. Oh, knees up, Mother Brown. Whoop hee! Knees up, Mother Brown. Hoo wee! Knees up, knees up. Never let the breeze up. Knees up, Mother Brown. Faster! Knees up, Mother Brown. Knees up, Mother Brown. Knees up, knees up. One. Knees up, Mother Brown. 
Very nice. Great job, you guys. Wiggle, wiggle fingers, way up to the sky. Wiggle, wiggle fingers, wave them all goodbye. Great job today. Thank you so much for joining us for story time. Make sure you stay tuned to AADL TV and subscribe for more story times. See you soon. Bye-bye.